What's going on? Steve here with IBC Global. I hope your day is off to a great start. So in today's video, we are going to talk about whole life insurance specifically for the cash value benefit. And we are going to discuss the two sides. This really has to do with two different opinions about whole life insurance when your goal is cash value. So the two sides we often see are this. We have individuals that say, I hate whole life insurance. Stay away from it. It is the worst place to put money. And then we have people and corporations that say, I love whole life insurance. The cash value is one of the best areas I can place money when I look at the product and how it works. So why is this? Because this has gone on forever, this debate with whole life insurance. Do I hate it? Do I love it? What's the good? What's the bad? And why is there a difference there? Shouldn't it all be the same? Unfortunately, it is not. So first, let's go through the bad and often how people feel. So when it comes to whole life insurance, have you ever felt this or heard this? That whole life insurance is a scam. That it is advertised to be great, but the product does not deliver and that it is misleading. All of this can be true. A quick example on the last bullet point, how is it misleading? Often people are interested in whole life insurance and they are educated about the dividends with a life insurance company. So if you look at a life insurance company that has a 6% dividend interest rate, if you have $100,000 in your cash value and a 6% dividend rate is applied to your policy, how much should your cash value grow by just based on common sense and 6% of 100,000? That would be $6,000. When you look at dividend rates and life insurance policies, the dividend rate does not reflect the actual growth rate on your policy. Depends when you started your policy, how much you've paid into it, are you still paying premiums? And there's a lot that goes into it. So people do feel misled. And the main reason often why is because that information is not made transparent upfront. If you do things right, the net growth rate will typically fall somewhere between three to 5%. So other examples of what we hear about whole life insurance for people that express they hate it, that the product is expensive. It's a bad product altogether. The cash value has very, very weak returns. And if you put money into a life insurance policy, you are going to regret it, meaning you're going to have buyer's remorse. Have you ever heard any of these or anything similar? A lot of people have. And a lot of people have stayed away from whole life insurance. Some people, or I should say a lot of people have heard this and then still moved forward. Here's why, because this leads into the next piece. Why do people love it? Or why do people express that they love it? Because we'll hear this, rich people use it, banks use it, corporations use it, all of which is true. When you look at banks, they do not use specifically whole life insurance. They use a cash value life insurance product. There's regulations that go into what banks can and cannot use. It's a little bit different, but it is a very, very similar product where the cash value is maximized. But you'll see individuals, wealthy families, and corporations heavily use whole life insurance where the priority is the cash value. Those who understand it use it, specifically those who understand how to maximize the cash value. Here's some reasons why, and this is often what people express as to why they put money into a whole life insurance policy when cash value is the goal. We often hear this, the cash value is a safe place I can put money. I know it, that it will continue to grow over time no matter what happens in the economy and stock market. I can access my cash value a lot like a personal line of credit, and when I access it, I continue to receive compounding on my full cash value meaning money that's still in cash value and what I've accessed specifically through a policy loan. And then three, it has some really nice tax advantages. Specifically, if I do things right, I can access the cash value completely tax-free. So you've got these two pieces or these two sides, but again, why is there a difference? Because what I'll say is you can take the exact same whole life insurance policy, an identical product with the same company, meaning you can look at one policy with one company and see completely different results. One, you might look at it and say, there's no way I'm putting money in this. You would fall in this category. Or another, you'd look at it and say, okay, this is a fantastic area to put money. So it all has to do with this right here, different ways to set it up. 
This is often referred to as policy design, how you can design a policy. We're just setting it up differently. So here's one way we can set it up. We'll call this option A. Let's pretend you are, you are funding $10,000 per year, which means you write a check for $10,000 every year. Okay. You have zero in cash value in the first year. Have you ever been presented or seen a whole life insurance illustration that looked like this? You pay $10,000 and you've got zero in cash value in the first year or a small percentage. It takes between 10 to 15 years just to get your money back. That's before you see any growth on the policy. And to put that into perspective, that means if you're paying $10,000 per year, you pay that every year for 10 years, how much have you paid? $100,000. If it takes 10 years to get your money back, that means by the 10th year, you finally have $100,000. All of the years before that, you have less than what you paid in. Attractive area to put money? For a lot of people, it's not. And then you must pay $10,000 per year. You have very limited flexibility when it comes to the policy. This usually results in people feeling like this. And when people feel like this, when they say, I hate this product, I feel like I was ripped off or scammed, is often when someone expresses interest in whole life insurance. It is specifically for the cash value benefit. They are led to believe that the policy they are getting is maximized for cash value. And this is what they get. That is not maximized for cash value. So we mentioned that there are different ways to set the policy up. How do we go from this over to this? Here's how. So we're going to pretend that we show you the exact same whole life insurance policy, just set up much, much differently. You write the same check for $10,000 per year. You have $8,500 in cash value in the first year instead of zero. And again, this is the exact same policy, but much, much more cash value upfront. It takes three to five years to get your money back instead of 10 to 15 years to get your money back. You must pay $1,000 per year. So now you have a lot of flexibility. And what that means is you're writing a check for 10K per year, but in the event life happens or you don't want to pay the full $10,000, the policy can be set up where you're only committed to $1,000 and you can add the rest of the $10,000 at your discretion. As the years pass, you can vary the funding amount. And that's the same if someone's paying in $100,000 or even a million dollars per year. We'll see those same principles followed where the minimum is typically 10% of the maximum. So if it's hundred k per year, someone would have a $10,000 minimum. Million, it would be 10%. This type of setup often results in someone feeling like this. <laughs> the only difference here is we set the policy up differently to provide a specific, some specific details as to what we did here. Of that $10,000 going into the policy, this is my favorite part right here, you, the policy holder, can actually choose where that money goes. It can go toward one of two areas. One, it can go toward the premium piece, this is also referred to as the base premium with a life insurance policy. Or two, it can go toward the PUA rider. PUA stands for paid up additions rider and you'll see different insurance companies use different terms for that rider. Here's how the two work. Premium dollars often first buy you death benefit, meaning they buy you the actual life insurance policy. The cash value with a traditional whole life insurance policy is usually zero in the first year, sometimes the first and second year. As you keep making premium payments, eventually those premium dollars do come back to cash value. But premium dollars are first and foremost buying you the life insurance policy. Your PUA rider does get you some life insurance, but it's a very small amount relative to what the premium does. No matter what happens, it is going to get you some life insurance, but what it primarily does is what everyone is interested in, gives you cash value immediately. If I pay $10,000 into my PUA rider, I might see 90 to 95% of that show up in cash value immediately. That's on day one. It's money I can access, begins to compound. This is really the key 
to accelerating the cash value growth of a life insurance policy. So what we will aim to do with the policy for someone who's interested in maximum cash value, maximum flexibility, this works great if someone says, I only wanna pay into a policy for a couple of years, three to five years, I've got a lump sum of cash, I'm moving it over, this works fantastic, this is what we'll do. We'll set the premium as low as the insurance company will allow. All companies have different limits. A lot of times you'll see the top companies allow us to set the minimum premium at or very close to 10%. And that's 10% of whatever the total amount is you're funding or you want to fund because we talked about that flexibility. So hope that that made sense. I hope you had fun with this video uh, with respect to whole life insurance and cash value education. If you are interested in seeing a policy or connecting with us, please check out our website, ibcglobalinc.com. If you are not interested in a policy at this time, that is okay, as we make these videos to provide education on how whole life insurance works and how you can maximize the cash value and then use it for all of the wonderful things you'd like to use it for. As always, I hope this helps and we'll talk to you soon. Hey guys, Steve here with IBC Global. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you're interested in a whole life insurance policy and you'd like to work with our company in setting it up, please visit our website, ibcglobalinc.com. We would love to work with you. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And as always, I hope this helps.